Hello folks, I'm having a yard sale. This is a septarian sphere for $125. It does not come with the stand, but this is enormous. You can see my hand here. Um, this is very, very beautiful. And I'm selling all my rock hound type items. This is another sphere. I believe it's a banded jasper for a hundred dollars. This one's almost as big. The stand does not come with that either. But that is a nice stand. The sand is forty-five dollars if you want it. Rotates. I have lapis lazuli tumbles for three dollars a piece. I have Oco geodes for a dollar and a half a piece. And these are cute little geodes from Brazil. I have copper, natural copper nugget specimens, $15 a piece. I have a fossil bowl for $12. I have carved stone bears and two elephants for six dollars each. I have carved dinosaurs, a little carved turtle, there's a brontosaurus, stegosaurus, those are fifteen dollars a piece. There's another stegosaurus. You can see that they're a nice size. These are big, and those are just 15 a piece. The horses, 15 a piece. Those are big too. And we have, for a dollar piece, Chevron Amethyst Tumbles. Comes with a card explaining it. We have various polished stone hearts. There's a tiger eye, rose quartz. Man-made red gold stone, two of them. Natural magnetic hematite, two of them, puffy hearts. And a green aventurine. We have a few uh, amethyst nuggets here. The little one's $2. The bigger ones are $3 each. We have some large citrine points here. These are $2 a piece. You can see they're big. The amethyst points are a dollar a piece because they have nicks, but that's still a good deal. We have picture jasper tumbles for 50 cents a piece. We have agate slices for 50 cents each. These are small. Some have openings, the jersey in them, as you can see. All different colors. Some are dyed. Some are the natural color. Large agate slices, $2 a piece. Uh, pretty big, big slices here. And we have this beautiful amethyst geode cathedral, which is 35 pounds, over 13 inches wide at the base. I think it was about 17 inches tall. It's very beautiful. There's no damage, and this is from Brazil. I'm asking 450 for it, but we'll take best offer over 200. Already have an offer for 200. So uh, come and see this in my yard sale. We also have all kinds of other items. We have art on the walls, we have paintings by myself and others. We have vintage books back in the corner. We have a grandfather clock over there. And we have Avon bottles. There's Avon bottles, the cars. And they're all in the boxes. And I'll have to go over there to show you the rest of it. But just a second. We have mosaics. There's an eggshell mosaic, goldfish. We have plates, collectible plates. Uh, 
We have pants pots. These are made out of real pants or shorts that have been dipped in white cement and then painted or stained. They're for artificial flowers or dried flowers. This one has legs and socks and shoes, so it has feet sitting on a little chair. This one is just freestanding, has a little belt. We have some that are made to be like nut bowls with a nutcracker. This one's been stiffened by glue. We have one here, um, which has been hand painted and has the dried flowers in it. That one's pretty interesting and it's pretty hard. Um, you can see it's hard. We have other ones. We also have uh, paintings. There's a print of one of my paintings called Praise Painting. It's music and hands raised in the air. We have handmade lighthouses. Um, I'll turn it on for you. Wait a second. And that's been made out of a lighthouse. I mean, out of a a telephone wire insulator that I did mosaics on. And then it has all kinds of shells and beads and other interesting things. Stones, some my precious stones, some glass gems, all stuck on there. The night light lighthouse is $35. We have paintings that I've done. This is a seascape with a misty island in the background. This is framed already, ready to hang, $55. We have a painting that I did a while ago. This is Rise Up on Eagle's Wings. It's an oil on canvas, 18 by 24, $225. I did this in 2004. It has a featured you know, a transparent rainbow and an eagle flying in the waterfalls. The uh, cliffs are done with a palette knife, so there's a lot of texture there. And there's fog in it, mist, misty areas. There's all kinds of interesting texture and features here. And there's mist in the background where the mountain mountains are. And there's a sunset, and so you see the pink in the clouds hitting the tops of the mountain peaks. So this one's a, a really good one. Uh, let me see. I have some that are just prophetic paintings, like this one. The Bondage uh, Breaker Intercessor is key to breaking bondage of lost soul and burden to share gospel. Not for sale, but it's one that I did not plan, and you can come and see that. This is Praying for Israel. This was from a vision I saw one time with my eyes closed. I saw the bread with the slice cut off and the Israeli flag on it. I'm not sure all what it means, but I think it means pray for Israel. Um, this was painted at Transformation Michigan prayer meeting in 2006. That one is is possibly for sale because I have done I did two. I don't usually sell my prophetic paintings. But I did too. There's one there. It's Jesus as the Lion of Judah and the Lamb of God. And the crown is gold leaf. And this is done in oils. And it's my original. It's matted and framed. And I would sell that one. This one's another prophetic painting. It's the little harvester going into the harvest field leaving her carrying the precious seed and going through that gate 
of joy. There's the joy bell going through the gate because she has a vision of the harvest in the eyes there. So there's, there's the eyeglasses with the wheat field. That's a vision of the harvest. She leaves behind all her gardening and everything else to go out into that harvest field with joy. I have other paintings here that can be flipped through, landscapes mostly. Uh, interesting prophetic painting here called The Great Tribulation. That would take me 20 minutes to explain. We have, it looks like a four gallon stoneware, uh, probably a pickle crock with the cobalt blue decoration on it. And uh, I have, I'm going to mark that at 75. I have a little kid's bench here with some little dolls on it. I have some antique items here, glassware, a pie tin, a vase, a pitcher, a couple pitchers, some crackle glass, an old uh, game. couple old toys here and uh, I'm working on the books but I have a stack of books the one on the right are all early 1900s and the one on the left are mostly late 1800s so those are for a lady but these are for sale and uh, these are from an estate, so these are not my personal books that I read or anything. But uh, these are for sale. Paperbacks, 50 cents. There's some hard covers. And there's a whole set of family life and health encyclopedias here. Good stack of those. Some more books. Some of these paintings are for sale and some are not. Some you can only see here. This is a smulty glass cardinal plaque that I made. That is for sale. This is um, a big painting. I'm going to see if I can get to it. This is one I have for sale, which I did in 1993. It's all done in ultramarine blue and white, 125 for that, 18 by 24 size, oils. Okay, this one is done in 1985 by Chuck Parsons from Harbor Springs, and it's called Papillon, which means butterflies. In flight. It is acrylics and some paper collage on there and a few spots. Uh, he became a famous artist in Harbor Springs and now in the last several years he's lived in Florida. He is represented by the Coyote Woman Art Gallery in Harbor Springs and by an art gallery in Florida. I sent him a letter which I still have which he confirmed that this painting that he did is worth $2,000 four hundred dollars so there's his signature Chuck Parsons and uh, I have that one here obviously I'd take best offer on it and for 35 we have daisies this is done by someone named King I'm not sure who 
This is a little angel scene that I did. That one's 15. It's a rose that I did. Framed. That one's 35 with the ornate gold frame. My friend Vivian did this beautiful iris. I'm not sure what she wants for that. That's 8 by 10. I've got a piece of painted driftwood with a three-dimensional lion coming out of the knot. And this is ready to hang. And I'd sell that for like $8. My brother has some canes and some walking sticks that are handmade. Some of them out of Tag Elder. There's a grandfather clock here made out of oak that my friend put in the sale. And we have odds and ends like this copper tea kettle. We have a lighthouse there with an amethyst top and a, cro a stone cross on the top of the lighthouse. And there's some of the Avon cars. And their bottles that are inside of the boxes. So people like to have the boxes. There's some cement planters that have been made out of cloth dipped in cement. We have cement cookies. Some made by me, some made by a friend. We have all kinds of cement products here. Bowls. And these are wood stones for outside in your garden. They're like bricks, but they're made out of cement with an impressed word and then painted, sealed. These two go together. Walk by faith, not by sight. We have welcome stones, love, and shoes here. We have turtle shell that I made out of paper mache ready to hang. And I used the same mold that I made for that and made a cement one. So we have a cement turtle shell here. This is for outdoors. $48 on that one. We have leaf impressions in cement. That's a fern. We have mugs that are paperweights and uh, they are filled with something, partial cement mixture, lightweight, that makes it look like chocolate uh, cake in there. So these are my cookies, or I mean my cupcake mugs with hand decorated uh, floral on the top, roses, and they're all different. I'm selling, these were $9.95, I'm selling these for $5 a piece. And that's a very unusual group. There's another lighthouse. Cross on the top. More leaves. More cookies. And cinnamon buns. A stepping stone for outside with imprints from a child's um, shoes. And more cookies. These are ornaments for your tree. And they have little ribbons to hang it by. These are lightweight paper crate. So they'll hang on your tree um, very nicely. Uh, we have those in blue and pink and yellow. We have them in peach. And uh, we have a red one there. And we have stars with sprinkles on. These are done in paper crate. These sell for $15 a piece. Um, in some retail shops that I've had these in. But I have some here and I will sell these for 5 a piece. So that's a special deal. We have a mosaic angel here. that is glass and shells, 
ceramic rose, pieces of plate, gem, pink gems for the toes. She's ready to hang. And she's big, about 18 inches tall, and I handmade the head and hand painted it. And it's all out of cement, but it has a hanger that goes all the way through the front, and uh, it'll never pull out. So, a very unique mosaic angel for those of you that love love the angels. And we have other mosaic items, a frame, uh, a cookie birdhouse, made each cookie, made each piece of candy on it. And this is a backsplash on cement board. It's a mosaic of a little pond with two, two dragonflies in it and a fish. And uh, it's got plants and palm trees by it. And interesting beads that are part of this that stick out. So that's uh, got a nice border all the way around it. Some are the expensive chip glass beads there, like that one with the flower. And so this is for sale. I will be putting lots of items outside tomorrow for the yard sale. An antique uh, rocking horse from when I was a little girl. That's here. Some collectible spoons that are brand new and a spoon rack. Some books, a poetry book by me, or a book written of um, essays from there were newspaper articles from my friend Ann. There's a doll. There's some pens. There's just everything. We have postcards of my paintings here. And those are five for a dollar. So you can get the paintings that you like on a postcard. And there's some special Petoskey stone ones of the UP. This is from artwork done by uh, Randy Libby. And I bought the artwork and then I made the photograph. This is a painting on a circular saw blade that I had done. Made a postcard out of it. Another painting on a saw blade. It's a postcard because the items are gone. 